This one is so fast. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks and today's project is this super cute, super fast, easy peasy mesh summer cotton scarf. So let's get started. This guy works up so fast, you're going to love it. I use only one skein of, I love this cotton, this is from Hobby Lobby. So you can have a cute little accent scarf for less than four dollars. So with this yarn, this one in particular is called Two Pink, which I think is funny because there's not as much pink in there. It's like half pink and then half green, but it's called Two Pink and it is, I love this cotton. And they want me to use a five and a half millimeter hook, which is exactly what I'm going to be using today. And today's hook is going to be my Knit Picks. I'm going to use this little guy because he's so pretty. It's the one that's all those different colors. I just love it. And you want to leave yourself just a little bit of a tail, a little bit longer than you might normally use. So you can put a needle on it in a little while and then make a slip knot. And chain 20. Keep that little tail out of the way. Chain 20. And 20. And now we're going to go back. Back down our chain with 19 single crochets. If you start in the next place you can actually work. And do single crochets all the way down. So we chain 20 and we're going to work back down our chain with 19 single crochets. 18 and 19. Now we're going to start our row that will be repeated through the entire thing. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. The beginning of every row is going to have a chain of five. Then we're going to skip two, one, two, and double crochet into that one oh, right here. Skipping two in that next chain, we're going to double crochet. Chain two. Skip two, double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet, chain two, skip two, double crochet, all the way down. And here we are at the end, chain two skip two and then we'll work in this very last stitch and double crochet in the very last stitch right here. There we have just a little mesh, a little mesh going. We're going to do the exact same thing again. So we're going to chain five, one, two, three, counts as our first double crochet and then there's two more is our chain two. And we're going to double crochet on top of the previous rows, double crochet. And chain two again. So there's our last double crochet in the top of a previous crochet, double crochet. So in this chain five, you want to do a double crochet in the center chain. So chain three, the number, th the third chain. So we'll do our double crochet in the third chain. That's your repeat. That's it. You want to see it one more time? Again, one, two, three for our first double crochet and two more for our chain two. Turn our work. Double crochet in the top of every previous double crochet. Repeat is the same and chain two all the way the last one in my last double crochet post there and now we're going to go a double crochet into the center chain of our chain five and that's it. Keep doing that repeat over and over again until you hit a hundred or until your yarn's already gone. So once you use your yarn up it will look like this will look like this and be super long. And then the very last row, I just like to do a single crochet 
all the way across so we end up with 19. There's one in our first chain or our first stitch, two in the chain space, and one in the stitch. Two in every chain space, one in every stitch, all the way across. And in the last chain space you do two and a double crochet or a single crochet in the third chain. Now we're just going to finish this off really, really fast and we're done. You can knock this guy out in a couple of hours, I bet. Just going to cut a longish tail because we want to use our needle. So let's cut like this just so it's easy enough to get on the needle. Finish this guy off. And we're going to finish this end exactly the way I did the first end. We're just going to gather it together. And this is not anything that needs to be extra special, pretty, and very specific because we're just going to do a gather. So I already did this end. So you can see it's all gathered together. I'm going to do the same thing down here. You just need to weave around with your needle through these other, the last single crochets that you just did. And pull them all together. And it's done! Weave in your ends and you have a really, really long, skinny, summer, cotton accessory. So we can go like this. And it's so long, because I made this one 100 double crochet rows all the way around. So there we go. Super cute, super fast, super easy very breezy and meshy and so cute. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.